You could be issued a procedural fairness letter from the immigration officer and you'll be asked to explain why things are not adding up in your, uh, in your application and this could result in extreme delays. So let's talk about family sponsorships. Okay, so this means you are a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident and you're trying to get someone over to Canada. Um, your spouse could be sitting in any part of the world. Now, since it's a detailed permanent resident application, you would need to submit comprehensive, detailed, credible documentary evidence to prove your relationship. Now, even if your marriage took place at a physical location where your spouse lives and there were you know, a few or a bunch of people attending your wedding, you guys took wedding photos, your parents were there, your siblings were, were there. Although this is a good piece of evidence, for example, your wedding photos, but that itself will not help you um, to prove your relationship. Because nowadays there have been so many marriage frauds taking place from you know different parts of the world where a Canadian citizen acts like or pretends that he is married such and such person from such and such country but at the back end they're just trying to get them over to Canada in exchange of a handsome amount of money in Canadian dollars okay so in order to nullify and mitigate the risk of your marriage being considered as a fraud marriage you would need to bring in credible evidence and that credible evidence could be for example the identity card back home that displays the same residential address for both of you another piece of credible evidence would be that you can have a joint bank account again you're trying to establish that this is a genuine relationship and what other credible uh, evidence could there be than to have a joint bank account because it's all about you know sharing your finances right in today's world everything boils down to finances so a joint bank account along with this you can also have a joint insurance policy these will be considered very credible you should also keep a regular communication log that you guys are in touch on a daily basis it could be over whatsapp it could be you know phone calls it could be emails it could be exchange of your photos you know all of these elements can help you to prove that it's a genuine relationship and let's suppose you happen to make a trip you pay a visit to your spouse back home because when you apply for family sponsorship it can take more than a year for your application to be processed and let's say seven months you're into your application and you've decided to pay a visit to your dear spouse in that case I would strongly recommend you to save that piece of evidence your actual air ticket you can use this evidence and you can you know raise a web form with IRCC and you can you know make a request to IRCC to take account of this event that took place that you have spent you're spending you know thousands of dollars just to go back home and see your spouse another piece of credible evidence will be tax records which display the same residential address for both of you in addition to this if you have property that you own in your name so you can add in those documents on top of that you can also include utility bills that display your name or the same residential address now all of this is very credible documentary evidence if you can add in all of these documents um, it will be enough to process your application in the normal processing times and in the worst case scenario if you miss any vital information or if you forget to attach any relevant document to support your application um, you could be issued a procedural fairness letter from the immigration officer and you'll be asked to explain why things are not adding up in your uh, in your application and this could result in extreme delays um, in a worst case scenario once we had a client she had walked into her office and she told us that she was asked to go through a DNA test okay like a DNA test to prove that they are the biological parents of their offspring okay of their child 
Now, in that case, uh, first of all, she had to conduct the DNA test at her own expense. It costed her about $1,000 to conduct the DNA test. And, you know, she had to speak to the local MPs in Canada to intervene uh, so it can help, the, help them to process the application faster. This was just the part where you had to establish a genuine relationship. And there's still requirements to be met for family sponsorship. If you are looking to sponsor someone over to Canada um, under family sponsorship and you're not sure how you can meet the requirements, what are the documents you have to prepare at your end, then I would strongly recommend you to get the services of a regulated Canadian immigration consultant that can represent you from beginning to the end. The normal processing time for this sort of application is about one year, as long as you've met all of the requirements and as long as you have submitted all of the documentary evidence covering all aspects of your application, then you can expect your application to be processed within the one year time window. Otherwise, there could be extreme delays. Okay, so that's it for now. We'll come back with more updates. Thank you.